save. Yeah, recording is started. Mic is unmuted and text in the chat window is already here. So we start once again where we were before the break. We just edited our file that we have <coughs> given permission to one of our colleagues, user number 100, to edit the file. What happened? He was not able to edit it onto the website, but system said download it onto your desktop app and add it into the desktop app and that worked. Now there is another very important question. Our user changed and added one line into the file on his own desktop. Now what is the benefit of this editing if we are not able to see what he has added? Yes, of course he can edit it. Yeah, he can edit it, but he can keep it to himself. Or if he want to share, then he has to share it back. Then what will be the what will be the benefit? Now what we confirm, we go there and see, and that is a really powerful aspect that he has edited on his own desktop. And when we will go back, we will see. See this fourth line is added. Nothing just changed, but one line is added. You can do anything that right? it means. Yeah, you can edit anything, change the information, or add the information, or delete the information. It's powerful, but of course it's dangerous also, but we know and we of course give this permission to our trusted users and we just minimize it and go to a back our to our website. Here we have our file 03. First of all, we notice that it is 03 CSV. Remember our system said that we need to change its format. So our system already changed the format to XLSX and copied it of course okay it's fine this is the original no, we have here if we want to see good but we want to see the changes who that changes made by our user 100 are reflected back into this one or are still only on his desktop at least here see uh, modified by display name one because his display name one i don't know uh let me see in the in the file we can see in the confirm in the file uh, 100 because remember we created from this one so 100 user what is his display name uh this was let me just go back and see this is first name this is last name this is username and this is display name and this was his department and this was his password Anyway, here it doesn't, see. sorry, what I have done, I just clicked control and here, here, and 100, anyway, display name is not that one, but anyway, we will see later. One thing we let, let's confirm that the changes are came back or not. So here is file number 03 XLS, click on it or edit it and see what happens. Wow, changes are here. The changes were made on the desktop of our user number 100, but system took changes from there and have posted back to our file that was in our SharePoint, our site, uh, Muhammad Team 1 v 3. So now we know a very powerful aspect of our sharing and collaboration that we can share files with our users, especially in this scenario, who are in our organization, condition number one, and number two, we send them the link. So this thing is confirmed and we can make a picture to keep this in our assignment also. See here, so we'll just make a picture. And of course, if we really want to reconfirm, we should make two, three pictures, but at least we want to make pic one picture to show that how the rights are working. I just take one picture from here. Uh, yeah, it's already taken off. Sorry. I say control C. Maybe this is already done. So this aspect is done already. People inside our organization with the link can edit our file. Yeah, the second thing that we confirmed right now, they can add it and the changes will reflect back automatically into our main file. 
that we have shared. So I would like to uh, duplicate this site and here the file is this picture is almost the same but this picture was from the desktop and now the picture I want to make from my SharePoint and show that file is uh, changed into our SharePoint site also. So let me take the picture this picture that is showing that this is on the website. this change is here and the file is on the website we can see here clearly and from this link also see its name and the name of the file control C right in here control B And your name is here. Went to front. I changed a bit this description. Picture number seven. The file edited. at user 100 desktop is updated back into our website. Now we'll have many more pictures. Uh, please allow me that at the end of the uh, end of the lecture, I will try to reshuffle the numbering probably. I don't know, or all the pictures that are inside the file. Uh, I don't want to give you guys too much work, so I would like to keep ten pictures. So later we can select, or maybe whatever we do now. We just take that 10 pictures, but just complete the work with me, whatever we can complete until our end of the class. And if still pages remaining, you can please complete them yourselves. Okay, so this aspect is completed. Now we see next aspect uh, where we are starting. This aspect is of course about the policies but this is about the sensitivity levels and the tags and how it works and how we get benefits from that okay for that i will show you where we will start we'll just uh, this file i'm just closing here and we still have here on our desktop i also close this file and we tried themes also microsoft edge also for the download and microsoft word for some things i was trying windows powershell also and this is our webex and this is our firefox where i also logged in uh, and we logged in with our user number 100 actually here and then we tried some of the aspects we just leave it as it is if we try once again, we can log in again. This is our PowerPoint slides. This is our pictures program snippet tool. And this is our window that we are working. Okay, now we want to see another aspect. Okay, that aspect we will see especially on our sites. We start from our SharePoint admin center. We select our site. This is already selected. Today we are working on this one. Uh, file name uh, site name is Muhammad team one week three your site will 
reflect your first name in the name of the site. And if we go here, we can click on this one. Here we have pub sharing, not here. Right click. Sorry. We have a big menu. Sorry, not here. In the files, on the files permissions and uh, files permission and the uh, policies and you will see here in the policy list. Yes, here we also have sensitive programs. Okay, so I am in this website and I clicked on it, went to these pages. These pages are general activity permissions and policies activity. Now we can see because we have done some activity on this one. Uh, pages we don't have yet. File store, yes, we have last site activity none. Hmm. Well, we not reflected yet here, but it's okay. Activity we're not much interested in. Permissions, yes, we have uh, already tested. And now we go to policies. In policies, there are external sharing. We are not much interested yet in external sharing. We may say later if we have time, but we, we will have time. Uh, sensitivity levels, we want to edit this one. And meanwhile, while we were doing, uh, you will also know, you will, run your, your, you will know yourself what it is. And I will give you an introduction also. All right. Here we don't see anything, but it says, Select the sensitive level you want to apply to the site for all information about these labels or to create a new one, go to the Microsoft 365 Compliance Center. So we go to the 365 Compliance Center. I have already, but I, I, I will show you start, uh, start from the beginning. I have some tabs here with this one. Okay. So this is Microsoft 365 Compliance Center. Somebody's calling. I'm just sending a text. Give me a just one. That's it. Okay. This is Microsoft 365 Compliance Administration. We have not used it before. We are just using this is a, also like the tip of iceberg. It's so many things, but we will today only will touch it. Uh, the labels, label policies, and auto labeling. We will try to do everything, but just a little bit of everything. And if we will be able to do that, at some point, Microsoft has not enabled auto labeling. Um, but we'll see. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. Uh, let's see what happens this time. But we can create labels at least. And we can create label policies. We can start auto labeling also. And it will work, it will work. If not, then we will see. Okay. So actually, just uh, see into the big picture. We were here and we clicked on one of our sites. We clicked on policies and in the policies we clicked on sensitivity level added and we reached up to here. Microsoft 365 compliance and system is asking us to create a label. Hmm. Create a label? Yes. The label will show us, will tell us that this is a sensitive document. For example, if we are in a medical company, we are in a hospital and some of the information of our users includes first name, last name, address and it's uh, and his, uh, his or her uh, social security number. Of course, this is a sensitive information. It should not go out of the organization. So this is only for the employees or maybe only for the employees of one department. So that is a sensitive information. So how the Microsoft system will help us to protect it? First of all, we have to create the labels. Okay, we create a label. Information protection labels here create a label. I have already these two labels. We can modify them and see also. But uh, we just create one new label to see how it works. So when we create the label, first of all, this wizard will have one, two, three, four, five, six pages at least. Name of the label. I want to say confidential 
Okay, I can get help from the computer. Confidential information. Only for the means this is a confidential information and this is only for the employees. This I want to give the name to this name. Maybe I can write label one or whatever. Like just I want to remember what it is. So it's a label. Now I can go C. Display name same, description for the user same. We can change also, of course, description for admins same. Go to next. This will come. Let's go. Validation field. Hmm, something is remaining. What? Hmm, maybe long, name is too long, or we cannot use the commas or anything. Maybe. Okay, try this one. Confidential information. I just remove the commas. See what happens. Yes, probably the commas were not allowed there, or maybe the length of the file. We can go back and test once again. For example, if I just add a comma, what happens? Yeah, validation period comma is the only thing, or this length. To try that, can just add maybe another letter here. Let's see what happens now. On the comma see the comma if it's another letter it's no problem but if it's a comma it's a problem for the name we can add commas here into other display names descriptions and but we cannot add commas here in the name of the label okay no problem we click next scope files and emails good next encrypt files and emails or mark the content of the file we just say mark the content of the file don't encrypt the files and emails but mark the content of the file. Just, we are just testing we can encrypt also we're just testing mark the content of the file uh, if we encrypt files it takes a little bit longer time microsoft says there that control who can access files and emails that have this label applied add custom headers footers and watermarks to files and emails that have this label applied yes we only want to mark the files if we encrypt somewhere a Microsoft system describes that now the system will take long time to open the emails and files because it will be encrypted and decrypted. So I just take that one, There's, take only this aspect, mark the content of the files, okay. Now we click next. Intent marking, now it says, uh, okay, content marking is enabled, what will happen? What we want to mark, what we want to say, add a watermark, okay. Customize the text, but we want to add watermark. Here we can write anything, 255 character. We just copy the same thing. Okay. Font 10, I think we can change or leave as you like. Okay, 12, color black. Okay, I say color red. Just your option, whatever you like. Text layout, diagonal. Okay, diagonal. We have horizontal or diagonal. So, uh, maybe you have seen some books when we get that. Uh, online pictures or books, they have a watermark, they have a uh, text something written on it that it's a property of some, some organization and you know the rights and everything. Okay, so we will write on confidential emails and documents, confidential information only for employees level one. Uh, which files and later we will define. Okay, we save, so this is the watermark. If we want to add something in the header and footer, that is also possible. The same thing. Just uh, if we click this one, custom text, same thing will come back. And we can do that. Just cancelling that. So only one thing, add a watermark right in between or somewhere in the, in the document, diagonal, text that we have written. And we click next. So file and emails, content mark, marking is here, auto labeling. Auto labeling files and emails, we just say yes and see what happens. Detect content how the auto labeling will work of course it needs some conditions to see that this file should be marked with this label so now we'll define that detect content that matches these conditions what condition 
add the condition okay content contains what it contains it contains sin number for example we want to say sin number and we delete this d part then sin number all of these means not only sin not only number because number can appear anywhere sin number probably will appear only in specific forms and emails where the sin number will be used we hope so yes and content contains we can add more things we can create groups also but for example we just click here sin number and we click on the add and see what we can get sensitivity info types we can add and trainable classifiers we can also select okay sensitive information type here we have a long list of 261 items microsoft is helping us with sensitive info types all full names all medical terms and conditions aba routing number there are a lot all physical addresses for example let's say all physical addresses all full names Arjunian national identity numbers there are so many things we can search also we can down and we see is there any sin number here document related with the sin number Australian business number now Japanese social insurance number hmm. Japan why Japan only why not Canada and Toronto but anyway we click on Japan social insurance number Singapore national registration identity uh, Hmm. Well, whatever uh, we are just trying okay so i click this one and we click add so three things are added full name physical addresses and uh, there was one more but it's not showing yeah it's showing it. japan social instrument number instance count one to five hundred uh, medium confidence uh, we can click here also low confidence medium confidence high confidence we just leave the uh, medium confidence these terms are related with the uh, with the results that we get from uh, artificial intelligence we get from the lot of lot of data and that then we select the things and system trains that machine learning these things have these terminology medium confidence high or low confidence uh, how it works it's uh, altogether separate course we are just using some of the terminology here and we cannot spend a lot of time on these one um, okay let me just give you a little scenario like how this are medium and low and high this is, let's say it's a percentage that how much chances are there in a document to have a sin number which will have s i n into the uh, document i'm giving an example uh, uh, so this it works like that okay names and uh, what we can add we can add more also this was sensitive in Romania. we can also trainable classifier how that works trainable classifiers are these like source code these are 15 items we can select any that whatever we like i'm just taking an example so i'm saying source code it's not related with our scenario in this example okay targeted harassment oh no we don't we are not uh, right now filtering out it but we can um, not this one threat resume yes resume is also uh, sensitive but of course we will make a different label for each uh, item that we want to save we want to protect discrimination finance it health care uh, what we were starting with we were starting about that internal information so health care also makes little sense Legal affairs makes sense, agreements make sense, uh, HR makes sense, but we leave it because HR has a lot of documents that may be not only for the employees, maybe for the external users also. Tax, maybe we assume tax is also only for the internal purposes. Procurement, yes, it's also for the internal purposes. We say, we assume, and we add it. Okay, so we have added trainable classifiers we can add another condition also and so on 
when content matches these conditions automatically apply the label we can select and change the actions what will have to happen recommend that users apply the label so we can keep it automatically apply the label And system is giving a suggestion that automatic and recommended labeling works differently for items in Office 365 versus files stored on Windows devices. Means the online and local devices behavior is a little different. Uh, no problem. Uh, display this message to users when the label is applied. Okay. Uh, label is applied. Spelling are different from this scenario. Sorry. A label is applied for the same thing confidential information only for the employees label one. Okay. And we can go next. Let me see. It was a little time. So, recording is going on. Yes, recording is going on. Mic is unmuted. Participants uh, and in the text chat. No, no problems. Uh, <laughs> no problem means uh, not a problem, but not a concern. Or what we can say, no challenges, uh, no requests, no questions yet. Okay, group sites. Sorry, and I was just uh, not wearing my headphones, but now I'm wearing my headphones again. So if you guys hear something, I'll be able to listen to you. Um, so groups and sites. Def define protection settings for groups and sites. Here is not selectable anything. I believe it will be automatically selected in the system because we cannot click anything here. Uh, next we can click next and see schematized data assets preview this is only preview so we cannot click here this preview means Microsoft is working on this aspect yet and then will be finished the next the label will be created this will be preview settings sorry this will be the settings of our label that we want to create and it will be created I believe here I would like to take a picture this is a good place to make a picture we have achieved something, we have created a label. We just uh, go through the slides and see what we have already done. Yes, we have done these types. We have created watermark. We have, we have not done custom header and footer, but it's the same thing I have shown you. And this is new sensitivity label yes we were creating this way. yeah this we have done the conditions and everything this we are already done and also this page is done trainable classifier yes we have done that this page we have gone through and the page second last yes we have gone through and the last one so this will be our next picture. The number is given five here, but it's not five because we have already taken, I believe, three more pictures. So I will just go back and see which picture number we have done before. Now I have to go back to 147 page. Here come back at 147. Previously we have given numbers up to seven. So this will be which number eight. If we continue with this sequence, it will be picture number eight. New sensitivity label is ready. Yes, the label is ready. Uh, and another example also want to change the number. Number eight, second example. I will show you second example also how it works. When we are here, either we can take this picture uh, or we can click on create label and we can take this next picture so if we save this picture it will be like this 
show your name on the corner and control C go back here I will just uh, duplicate this slide this picture I have a new picture size it nicely here is the name and here is this one new sensitive label is ready this picture or this picture I also duplicate this one example second example and I will show you then we will click create label we will reach to the next page that I have shown in the picture yes your label was created so I can save this picture also so our label is created Let's see another example and here is your name or my name so we can see the name in the corner that's a good thing even we don't include our name into the things we can see our name here on the corner right top corner okay so we have created one label now next we will create uh, label policies Sorry, before that we have to publish the label so everyone can access the label in our uh, organization. Publish the label. How we'll do that? So easy. There is a button. We will right click. Uh, here we have click on done and now we reach here. Our new label was we cannot resize. Okay. Maybe we can resize it from here a little bit and see if we can see the complete name. 50% not yet. Okay, I just like that. Maybe you guys cannot see it very clearly if I reduce the size too much. Okay, so in the information protection, we were in Microsoft 365 compliance. Then in the see here information protection, information protection overview is this overview you can read some information here labels are here uh, right now we have created one label the name was contact action information only for the employees label one remember at and I added label one and here we can also see January 25 926 so it's created right now okay so label is created now we publish the label first we select it then we publish it publish the label it also has some one two three four five pages at least so this wizard will take us through the steps to publish the label choose sensitive label to publish yes uh, yeah this one yes we want yeah it's already there sensitivity labels to publish or we can change also or we can add it also but I just click the next here we can select users and groups where it want to be we want to be dis, uh, published to all users next and here users must provide the justification to remove the label or lower its classification that means policy what is our policy settings uh, require users to apply a label to their emails and documents yes require users to apply a label to their Power BI content, we have not used yet, yet Power BI business intelligence, but we just click it yes. If we don't, it doesn't mean because we are not using yet Power business intelligence, that's altogether a separate course or a actually topic for, uh, I believe soon it will be coming to undergrad, but it's especially graduation, there is uh, business intelligence. Uh, masters and even PhD degrees available in universities. Provide users with a link to a custom help page. If we have a custom help page, especially for this aspect, we can write here a URL, but we don't have, so we just don't click it. And we click next. Uh, maybe we just don't 
use this one we just use user must provide a justification if they want they don't want to use it or want to reduce it and require users to apply a label to their emails and documents uh, if the documents will be related with these conditions that we have given next settings for the documents apply this default label to the documents confidence information only for the applies label one will be applied to default label to the documents this will be the default label to the document no sorry sorry, sorry. apply this default no we don't want to set any default label no. default label to the documents every document will have the, uh, we can read this one the label we choose will automatically be applied to word excel and powerpoint documents when they are created or modified no we don't want to do that a user can always select a different label to better match the sensitivity of the documents which office apps version support the settings so default label we don't want to if the system thinks that this should be a sensitive document like right now in our case we are going to try to find documents with sin numbers then the label will be i'm confusing in this aspect the label will be applied default label to the documents that we want to label or to the all documents. It looks like all documents. See here the word Excel and PowerPoint document is when they are created or modified. No, not all the documents we don't want to see that. Okay. That label next. Apply this default label to emails. This one, the default name, the policy. I just want to see what I have written the name of the tag similar here for the policy. On feed dash. I just my scanners. Confidential information only for the employees. Oh, no, maybe not accept the product. We will see. And this is actually we call it sensitivity label policy. Cannot put more uh, words. So maybe I will move something. Let's say only for supplies. Sensitivity data. L A T L. Policy. Zero one. Good. Okay. I'm removing the comma. Maybe system will not allow me the comma. Let's see. Control V. Here you can write. You can give the comma. Confidential information only for the employees. That's it. And we can click next and see the finish. Finishing here. Maybe we can take a picture here. Go back to slide slide and see. We have done this one. And also, we are going to always get rid of the wizard and we will create picture number six. That is actually picture number nine now. The picture number eight was last time. This will be picture number nine. New sensitive level policy is ready. And I will duplicate these three pages and put new pages also. It. Okay. Here, I want this picture. I will get also on the right corner. Side of my speed. Right on. New sense to enable. Policy is ready. 
नहीं मिली इज द सेकंड एग्जांपल ये आर इन शो यू आंसर सेकंड एग्जांपल वेरी सोन लेट्स वी गो बैक एंड एज़ वेल वी सबमिट विल सी द नेक्स्ट पिक्चर recording is working it's 40 minutes recording i will like to stop and then start again so we have usually four files so this time also to keep the same number maybe we don't take the break here but i just stop the file recording file and create another file so again we will have four files so i 